Hi, boys and girls. This week, we've been learning all about non-standard units of measurement. We started out with what are non-standard units of measurement. We learned how we can use coloring to find a measurement, and we learned how we can move objects to find the measurement of different things. Today, we're going to put it all together, and we're going to link it back to our lessons from last week. We're going to take non-standard units of measurement and be able to compare the measurement of two different objects. So let's look. How do we do it? We're going to use our terminology from last week. We're going to say which one is longer, which one is taller, or which one is shorter. But before we can do all of that, we have to use our non-standard units of measurement to find the actual measurements. So for in our example, we have the pencil. We use the color tiles, and we said that the pencil is 10 tiles long. We also have the crayon. The crayon is 11 tiles long. Which one is longer? And how do we know? We can say that the crayon is longer than the pencil because 11 tiles is greater than 10 tiles. Alligator would eat the 11 tiles. So that's how we know that the crayon is longer. We can say that the pencil is shorter than the crayon because 10 tiles is less than 11 tiles. The 10 tiles will make the gator's belly sore. So in your seesaw activity today, you're going to have two different objects. You're going to first use non-standard units of measurement to find out the actual measurement of each object. Then you're going to use the magic word because to explain how do you know which object is longer or which object is taller or which object is shorter.